part one video you saw the left hand panel for the users panel and we were able to uh, see what the uh, user profile is what the top cards do and what this specific list is about then if you go to all these tools they have subsections and all these sections start with a uh, exhaustive list of items uh, to make sure that everything is together in to which state these are now in this session we will mostly talk about the asset monitoring page and admin panel so asset monitoring page is to do with all the assets and their age so when they were built is listed here and we also have a verified option where you know we can ask the user hey this eight days ago you did this salary data set is it still relevant or you know we still want to use it or not and you can you know these users can come here and you know verify them by providing a comment okay yes this is still relevant and we will still use it and if there is a verification where you know it's it's not to be used then this asset should be archived and that should be reflected here to make sure a centralized view is available now let's talk about uh, admin panel in this one so admin panel starts with a dashboard the dashboard uh, talks about how many licensed user are there active roles suspicious accesses that has been detected suspicious accesses happen when you have allotted a person for a specific country for access and for some reason that some access has been attempted from not from that specific country so we just captured that while the ip level access is very strict so if the ip don't match we just restrict the access open tickets you know if you have raised any tickets for provide to ams uh, team support team that will be reflected here uh, this dashboard shows you know who is accessing your portal from where and how many access has been done and this count of access is based on uh, the number of times a specific api has been hit uh, what is the daily portal access you know so nine times nine logins has happened uh, which is 125 percent more than last 24 hours how many users have been getting created into the system and also login sessions and sso login so how many sso logins has happened from the system so these kind of information gives you a glimpse of you know uh, making sure that your system is secure and you know who is accessing from where and for what purpose they are being accessing if you come to administration the left hand side the administration module have track roi in track roi you can provide uh, the information on the cost of uh, uh, your accesses will be provided and you can put you know value of okay what is the revenue or what is the return that i'm expecting in this month after spending this much of infrastructure cost and resource cost so that can be graphically pointed out and you can say hey my roi is changing which means you know i'm not able to make that kind of a return that i was expecting it to make from uh, you talk about organizations so organization is mostly detail of your organization and workspaces so you can add workspaces and each workspace then will become its own cohort where only the the assets related to that workspace will be available and there will be a workspace head who will be totally responsible for making sure that whatever cost happens in there has been managed and taken care by him user management is then uh, uh, following the same pattern if you click on add user you can see you know different options are provided here you can provide the employee charge which can help us estimate that how many number of hours they spend on building a asset based on that we can find cost allowed ips and what role they have you can create custom roles if you want to have an internal expiry date you can have it uh, two-factor authentication mobile access database users multiple login so all these things are available which you can see in the help document if you want to know in detail what they actually do uh, if you go to roles so you can decide custom roles for people to make sure they only access what is allowed or what is supposed to be accessed by them so there are total 434 policies right now they keep changing as we keep adding more functionality but these policies are nothing but you know what are the uh, key entry points or key apis that we have and you can design policies and combine these policies into roles uh, in terms of integration you know we have open ai tools so if you want to have this uh, tools from the open stack we can deploy them and you can configure them here for instance this one this is the system and you can configure which url and that is if you want us to host we can host it for you and give you the details SS integration is about OAuth, setting up OAuth. So all these systems are controlled by OAuth, um, by us. Open API keys. So there are some, you know, open API endpoints that we have. So you can create keys and you can access them. And IT infrastructure deals with uh, which infrastructure is right now available for the team to build on, and we manage the infrastructure cost with that. Security have cyber security audit and internal audit support. We have documentation and support tickets. And in settings, we have close account configuration. So you can 
close your account as well thank you